Let's look at steps that seem to help some people. And one is you can supplement with the lactase enzyme. A lot of digestive enzyme formulas will have some lactase in there and they'll have a lot of other types of enzymes too. When I've seen it to where a person is having trouble with lactose because they don't have enough of that lactase enzyme, when they just use a broad spectrum digestive enzyme, it's often not enough of that lactase to really create an improvement. They often need to use a supplement that is just lactase. It's just a lactase supplement and then that will come with enough lactase in there to help them process that lactose and they'll feel a lot better when they consume those dairy products. Other steps that can help is to correct any digestive malfunctions. If someone isn't making enough stomach acid or maybe their bile has become too thick and sticky to flow correctly, then it's hard to really break those foods down. Other steps would be to re reduce any overgrowth issues, whether you have like some type of bacterial overgrowth or yeast, mold, or fungal type issues that are taking place maybe in the small intestine or stomach area that's putting bad guys throughout this system. Some of these bad guys seem to have the ability to process some substances in a way that turns them into bad substances. So wiping out any bad guys can be beneficial. And we'll also put some links in the description below for some studies that indicate that using some probiotics has had the ability to turn this situation around for some people. And they're basically putting in good bacteria in the gut that help the body process these dairy type items in a better way. And that seems to clear up some of these troubles for some people. And is that an issue of maybe the probiotics are helping them process those foods better? Maybe the good gut flora is kind of getting rid of all the bad guys and kind of controlling the situation and keeping them from thriving and taking over the whole camp. There's a lot of opinions out there of what may be really going on, but you can see there's steps that a person can take to see do they have the ability to improve this scenario. And if it really is a food sensitivity issue, a person might need to fix those digestive functions and then still avoid that food for for a while, maybe another six months to a year. When I had a lot of things going wrong with me and I wasn't digesting my food correctly, there were like four foods that I could eat and everything else was causing problems. And after I fixed my digestion, I was able to eat a lot of those foods, but some things I had to avoid for a lot longer. And so you can test things out and see, okay, can I eat this now or am I still having a lot of trouble? 